Good morning, everyone. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to the EDB Masterclass Series. I'm Ashish Kumar Mehra, Country Head Sales at Enterprise EDB. Okay. Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be with you all, EDB. And um, I'd like to talk about um, how I got into chess, but more how I got better at chess and how I evolved, kept uh, learning, you know, how I dealt with all the transformations in chess. Um, so, I got into chess when I was six years old. I was lucky in my circumstances. My mother played chess and she was lucky that her family played chess. So there's always a little bit of serendipity in these things. Uh, I came to chess because I was fortunate. My mother could teach me how to play. Um, I mean, 30 or 40 years back, this was the biggest stumbling block. Uh, for a lot of people who wanted to play chess, finding someone who could teach them the game and then play a little bit. Um, then my parents saw that I was quite keen on the game. So pretty soon I joined a chess club and so it went. But this was pretty path breaking um, at that time because hardly anyone in India played chess at that point. Uh, we had very dedicated uh, chess groups, chess communities, but um, already a very unusual part. I'm going to talk about success and how my journey towards success was slightly different than a lot of other people. And I think it'll have illustrative um, lessons for you. Uh, the slides you're about to see are on my website right here. Uh, if you'd like to download the slides, there's also I think 50 some talks and 80 videos of me giving talks. So if you want more detail, particularly about Postgres or home automation or whatever, check out that URL. Uh, there might be something you're, you're kind of interested in. Take the time to be open to new ways of thinking, new ways of solving old uh, problems, and also questioning my assumptions. That is the hardest part. There are a lot of assumptions that are built in. Like from my youth, I remember that you're supposed to develop the pieces in a certain way. But once you learn that you're supposed to do things in a certain way, you, you have this ability or this tendency to reject everything which doesn't fit into that and say, well, if, if this is good and is the right way to do it, then the wrong way to do it must be rejected. And over time, you almost never question this uh, assumption, the wrong way and the right way of doing things. But it turns out there might be several right ways of doing things. Uh, there are... Um, ways of doing things that are wrong, but they're not wrong unless you know exactly why and so on. So broadly speaking, uh, looking at other people's games, looking at computers games, forcing yourself to move a little bit every day. Uh, I don't enjoy doing unpleasant, uh, unfamiliar work any more than anyone else, but at least a little bit every day, and this is the one thing that computers have tilted in our favor. They give you the answers so quickly that all I need to do is to get better and better at asking questions. So how do you find your path? Okay, how do you find what you're going to do? Well, for me, the way I do it is I figure out, okay, what am I good at? What natural ability do I have that sets me apart from the average person? Because that's really my strength. And whatever success I'm going to have, it's probably going to be based around one of my given strengths. 